There is a new analysis finding that a weak housing market is dragging down the economic recovery of Seattle. Data compiled by the Brookings Institute shows above average growth in both employment and output in the Seattle area. But Seattle's housing market remains a drag on the economy. The Case-Shiller Housing Price Index shows housing prices fell in January in the Seattle area for the sixth straight month. Well, King 5's Teresa Ewan shows us how our housing market fits into those findings. When it comes to recovering from the recession, this new report puts Seattle right in the middle. And part of the reason is because of our falling housing prices. I've been working on a real estate story about how a third of people who are buying homes in our area are paying all cash. But with the economy the way it is now and how hard it is to get loans, um, especially being their first home, it was difficult to go that route. So we had, you know, the cash available, so we just went that route. Camille Elliott bought this house along Alki Beach for her children as a starter home to fix up. Now using a line of credit, they offered all cash and they beat out multiple bids. According to real estate company Redfin, within the last year, one out of three homes here in King County were bought with all cash. And with home values down 6% compared to the peak in 2006, Redfin says the trend shows buyers are looking at homes as an investment opportunity. They can either live in them, flip them, or rent out the homes. Rents are up 5% in the Seattle area. And speaking of home prices, the new Brookings report ranks Seattle towards the bottom of the list, 81st out of 100 major cities. Experts are mixed on whether it's a good or bad sign buyers are paying all cash for homes. As it's through this process that the market's actually going to heal itself. Uh, the fact that a lot of these people are investors who are paying all cash means that they are seeing an opportunity to buy up cheap assets and then rent them out. And that's good for both the rental and the purchase markets. It can definitely be frustrating right now when you're out there. And if you're looking in the same kind of price range as some of these investors or the people who maybe get recently got really well-paying jobs. The best advice from experts, if you are competing with someone who's offering all cash, they recommend that you broaden your scope when it comes to neighborhoods you're looking at. They say that's because investors are really focused on specific neighborhoods, also specific price ranges. In Seattle, I'm Teresa Ewan, King 5 News.